This is going to kill your business overnight. Let's find out now. Hi everyone, and what is going to kill your business overnight? Let's get into it. Before we do though, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for updates, guys, as well as follow me on Instagram at Ricky Hayes IG. Well, let's get straight into it. That's embarrassing. <laughs> what is going to kill your business overnight? Facebook is imposing new rules that will kill dropshipping businesses as we know it. And this is your ad account score, okay? In order to see your ad account score, you need 5,000 page likes, but if you do, you can click that link there. I'll be putting a link, uh, the uh, document down below in the description, so feel free to uh, view this at your leisure. Um, but it's really important that that you check this, okay guys? Once you hit 5,000 likes, you check this on a regular basis because Facebook is locking people down frequently over this stuff. Um, so don't forget about this, all right? So here's an example of a good ad account. So you can see here, anything under two is gonna get penalized, anything over is fine. Obviously the higher, the better. You can see this is one of the ad accounts that I manage that it is perfectly fine, okay? You can see it's peaked at about 4.7 and then it's sort of plateaued about 4.5. You can never retain a five, so don't ever worry about that. But this is an extremely high score, all right? So this is an example of a bad ad account. Okay, so you can see here that we've received a large number of negative feedback from your customers over recent weeks. Until you improve your service and receive a satisfaction rating above two, your ads may reach fewer people. If your score drops to one or below, your Facebook page will no longer be able to run Facebook ads. Okay, so this is the reality of where a lot of people are going. A lot of people are sitting under three to pretty much they're just sitting over two. Okay, and most people don't even realize it and that's what actually penalizes a lot of accounts That's why people make multiple ad accounts that you can't see it Unfortunately until you have 5,000 likes an actual number representation Representation, but that is there. Okay, and so you can see that this is only going to get worse Okay, so what happens when you're penalized you're going to get lower reach if you consistently provide with negative feedback They're going to shut down your ad account Eventually, they can even shut down your business manager and lock your Facebook ad account on the rare instance, okay? If you consistently provide bad, they're just going to lock your Facebook account. They don't want you on their platform because they're just, you're actually making their, their platform worse. So to them, they don't want you, okay? And so what's gonna result is your main traffic source will be completely cut out, bam, okay? Your Facebook account is gonna be completely cut out and that's where most people make their money. Most people are now, uh, well, they're still making most of their money from Facebook Instagram and Google, all right? Now, how to prevent this from happening is you be transparent with your customers. Now, I forgot to add this, but about your shipping times, add it to your FAQ page, your shipping uh, shipping and um, uh, shipping and delivery page, sorry, your order tracking page, your thank you page, your purchase confirmation email, your shipping confirmation email, your shipping updates, um, your receipt in Messenger, if you use Messenger, you also can send a receipt via text message um, as well if they've opted in for that to send it via that. Um, and between you know all of that, we're looking at seven to eight avenues, okay? And we're pretty much going to eliminate 90 to 95%. And there you go, most of you covered. Most people don't even go to that degree because they don't care, uh, which is baffling. Reply to every customer service email, just get a VA, three to four dollars an hour. You can literally go on Upwork, tons of people do it. There's heaps of other websites, of course. Three to four dollars an hour, or th let's say five bucks. To keep it simple, five bucks an hour and you'll get a decent VA. I recommend from the Philippines. I find from the Philippines, they're very good VAs. Um, don't ignore chargebacks. Don't ignore them. Just why would you ignore them anyway? Dispute them, if because a lot of them are a load of crap. Um, as well as don't just ignore them, that's actually gonna piss people off even more than not ignoring them. Okay, provide quality items. If you have a winner, test it to see if you can find a better quality item through a sourcing manager. So again, on Upwork, you can find a sourcing manager. Most are around 20 to $25 an hour, and they are extremely skilled. Just find the highest ones, and you'll be fine. They're, they're gonna spend at least four to five hours trying to find from different suppliers. Buy a number of those as samples, you know, spend 10, 20 bucks or whatever, how much it is on samples, get them sent over and choose the best one and then go with that supply. You'll actually find that it'll be cheaper for you because you'll be getting a good supplier. 
Okay, um, I didn't add this in as well, but if you are doing well as well, and most of the time going to the US, use services like ShipBob so that you have faster shipping. Okay, that's that's what the next step is now, faster shipping. ShipBob has, if you send it to their fulfillment center, you basically just, uh, it's it integrates with Shopify. You get a uh, sort like a um, account manager, and the account manager will help you with where to send it um, because they might ask you to send it to different locations. Um, you then buy it in bulk on Alibaba, send it to them, you're gonna have one to three day shipping time with about a one day fulfillment time. So in total, usually I find max of four days, but most of the time they're actually about three days, which is what people expect. Okay, people are, people usually would be extremely happy with three days, like wow, that's quick, right? So that, um, as well as ask for feedback to help your ad account score, just through that link, just offer them a 20% discount code. They just need to search activity for the ad uh, for your business and they can give you positive feedback, give them a 20% discount code to encourage. How you do that is just using something like Aftership, the um, delivery confirmation, the also one if you're using Clavio, um, as well as, um, I've forgotten the other one. Ah, text message if you're doing text. All right, and so the other one that's obvious is just treat this like a business. You can see this stuff is not hard. Once you have this stuff set up, it's, it's pretty much leave it and go, right? And so treat this like an actual business. That's all I'm getting out there. Treat it like a business. If you think you can change to Google Ads or influence marketing and just do that solely, then you're wrong. So Google Ads is going to shut down your account. It's just even on if you don't have your policies on your footer page, like your refund terms of service um, and uh, refund terms of service and privacy policy. They're not even going to let you run ads. They're going to literally they crawl your website and they're going to be like, no, nah, not even going to allow you to run ads. And if you're providing crappy um, service, they're going to shut down your account in terms of customers giving negative feedback about your website, stuff like that. They're just going to completely shut you down. I just had a friend that's just recently had that um, and it's very frustrating it, and it's just the way it is. You're going to have to get used to it. If you're doing influencer marketing, it's far more lenient because that's a growing trend again at the moment in, in the community, influencer marketing, but it, um, if you remember influence marketing, you're gonna get, you know, you pay $50 for a share, you're gonna get thousands of people or however many people to your website. If you want to actually make this into a real business, you need to do remarketing. Too many people are not doing remarketing. If you want to do remarketing on Facebook, you need to have a good ad account score. So don't think that you can get away with this. They're all relative, okay? So um, Google, I know, will shut down you unless you're providing transparency, they will shut you down. Influence marketing works to a degree, but if you wanna do remarketing, it's critical. That's it, guys. The, uh, there isn't much to it. You can see this is all really just coming down to basic common sense. But what I am seeing a growing trend of is, is that people are, again, neglecting this because there's this growing trend due to other people providing courses. Don't get me wrong, they're good. Um, that people are moving to those and that these platforms, uh, these forms of other marketing are um, being taken advantage of. And trust me when I say that it's not gonna last forever it's going to come back to square one really quick. So you need to start treating this like a damn business, okay? I, I'm, I might not be the most popular person in the world by saying this, but so many people are going to fail just by this simple fact. And I assure you throughout the entire of 2019 and onwards that this is only gonna become a bigger and bigger and bigger topic because no one seems to want to give a shit about responding to customer service emails or their account score, okay? You know, people will go from Google to, I don't know, Snapchat. They'll go from this to that. And they're, they're just going to create the same shit in a different spot. So stop doing it. If you want to make an actual business, take the time. All right, take the time. It's frustrating, I know. I don't enjoy it all that much either doing a lot of this stuff, especially, you know, if, even if you have a VA and they're doing your emails, you're still going to get have to do some yourself and they're crap but you're gonna to have to get used to it if you wanna make this into a real lifelong business, and that's what you have to do, okay? You just have to do it, um, all right? It's built on the foundation of trust. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it from today's video. If you did enjoy it, there's a link, there'll be a link down below for today's slides, uh, down below. If you did like it as well, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Ricky Hayes IG, where you get up close and personal with me. And there's a cheat sheet down below, 100% free cheat sheet, guys. All right, enjoy. Have a lovely day.